MP Arkadiusz Mularczyk, responsible for the preparation of the report on the losses of Poland during the German occupation, provided the Polish press agency with partial results of his work on the destruction of Warsaw. Uh, the material losses alone that Warsaw suffered during World War II are estimated at over 380 billion złoty. Over 20,000 uh, properties were destroyed or seriously damaged, with a total cubature of 92 million cubic meters. The topic of reparations has been raised by law and justice uh, since 2017. President Jarosław Kaczyński argues that this issue may last a whole generation, but it's a matter that must be positively resolved. Germany is not settled with us. We are still a Germany's creditor, and on a grand scale. And this is not just about reparations. It's also about a moral settlement. This week, the leader of the German CDU party, Friedrich Merz, visited Poland. When asked about reparations, he replied that the topic was now closed. At this stage, admitting this is actually to their disadvantage. If they were a nation that had learned the lessons of World War II, then of course the matter would have been settled long ago. Lawyers, however, argue that in the light of international law, it is possible to recover war reparations due to Poland. According to our constitution, UN resolutions, a responsibility for war crimes, for crimes against humanity, does not have a statute of limitations. We're talking about the terrible consequences of the Second World War, of occupation. The Germans committed countless crimes during World War II. During the occupation, up to 700,000 Warsaw residents died, and the city was turned to dust. As a result of the planned extermination of the Polish nation, over 6 million citizens of the Second Polish Republic lost their lives. Tangible losses, intangible cultural assets, and the blown-up Saxon palace, Brühl Palace, perhaps the Germans should participate in the reconstruction, since these objects are about to reappear in Warsaw. According to Professor Mieczysław Ryba, repairs do not fit in with the vision of German politics, because the world also remembers about German crimes. What is needed here is a certain consistency, a long-term policy, and raising this issue at every opportunity, whether at the EU summits or at various national summits, this should be a topic that should return like a boomerang. Poland, due to its de facto dependence on the Soviet Union, could not count on reparations from the Germans after 1945. Historians recall that the decisions made by Bolesław Bierut had no legal force, so the topic of German compensation is still open.